This is Ivory Coast's first locally assembled smartphone. It aims to improve accessibility with voice commands in local languages for users who can't read and write. The handset can understand commands and respond in 16 of the country approximately 60 spoken languages, including Diola, Senufo and Bete. The phone is driven by a series of apps accessed through a similar interface like Apple Siri or Amazon's Alexa. Bonjour. Users can pre-select languages and order their devices to initiate basic functions like sending calls or text messages, or even initiate mobile money transfers by speaking in the local dialects. The phone called OpenG was founded by Alan Capocici. He said he created the phone to help people like his parents who were illiterate. In Africa, the problem we have is that we don't have access to written commands. So writing and reading aren't accessible to everyone. What we've tried to do is help our parents who have difficulty with their smartphones, tell them to use them to receive and make calls. But why not make their lives easier by giving priority to commands since speech is three times faster than writing? The phone went on sale last month in the West African country and the developers say they've already sold several thousand units.